All right, now, what's going on? So we're back out here in the uh, shop today. Probably gonna do a little firewood. Uh, we've been burning, burning wood for about a week straight now. Um, so I got a tree down there we cut down a while back. Uh, just gonna load up some of these chainsaws and go out to the old wood splitter. Try out old splitting that old wood. Uh, anyway, so the other day with the chainsaws, um, I've been running a hand file and one of those steel two-in-one tools works pretty good. Um, but anyway, I gave something else a try. So I got this right here. It's a grinder. I don't know. I think I got like eBay or Amazon or something. Uh, or pretty cheap. I think I paid twenty-five dollars for it. Um, not a whole lot to it. Uh, blue, blue diamond, blue electric chainsaw sharpener, you know, off-brand kind of whatever. Um, but I, I think it did fairly good. It was quick, a lot quicker than doing it by hand. So anyway, up here on the table, I got uh, I got both my little chainsaw, 251 wood boss and the 271 farm boss. One uh, the 251 got an 18 inch bar, 271 got a 20 inch bar. Helps out with some of the bigger, uh, bigger trees. Uh, and of course, I got this old fuel jug. Uh, don't tell nobody the European fuel jug because it's not a, a red; it's orange. But I tell you what, it works outstanding. Um, just turn your saws over, and I, I think I put fuel in them the other day. It's full. Um, but anyway, on the, you know, it's on your fuel, you unlock it, and it's just like some of the other one. That when you put it down in there, of course, it won't overfill it, overfill it, and let it uh, come back out. It just fills it to the proper, the uh, proper depth, and shuts off. Uh, let's see this one this one is low so I'll give you a little show you how it works we can see that so just pop your fuel can open fuel tank turn this to the unlock you stick it down in the hole, push down, and it just fills it up. As you heard, it just stopped right there. I hadn't let up. So you look down in there. You know. It won't overfill it like, you know, them American ones. Um, well, you can get them off of eBay or Amazon or whatever. I tell you, it takes a little bit for them to come in because they are coming from Europe. Um, but here's what it is. It's a Husky Barney. Um, fuel tank, whatever. So it's got your fuel and your bar oil. In a little toolbox, or whatever, hand it down and take it out with you, or whatever. Um, could become actually with two spouts per oil and in the gas. Uh, the other ones, uh, 
Well, not the uh, the locking ones. Yeah. Here's the other one. This is just like a quick pour. Uh, it does have ventilation though. So it's better than the American one still. Um, and it also came with regular tops. So if you want to like when you go to fill it up or whatever. I fill up big fuel cans and mix it and pour it into there because it is in liters. So that's liters to gallons to get your portion right. You know, I got a like a one gallon tank that I fill up and do my mix in, then I just pour it in there so I can keep my mix. Anyway, so I'm gonna take the uh, 251 and the tractor and go get some of them rounds and take them over to the wood splitter. And see about splitting me some wood today. While it is in the 50s, it's been the last couple of weeks, couple of days. Uh, it's been pretty chilly here in the great state of South Carolina. It's the first day we've been well into the 50s in a week. So, anyway, I'm going Get the tractor crunk up and uh, head over to the wood processor. See about cutting me some wood, splitting some wood. Uh, nothing else, get ready for next winter, huh? All right, guys, we'll catch you back over at the uh, wood splitter.